I got so caught up in this phone situation, I almost forgot my question for a second there. Uh, Savion, thanks for taking the time out and, uh, and, and joining us this afternoon. Um, I wanted to ask you, just watching the film, uh, what can you tell us about um, you guys' plans to kind of contain De'Ari King at quarterback? You know, he's a great passer in the pocket, but he likes to run as well. And you guys, I imagine, don't want to let him get loose. Um, what's it like just kind of come up with a game plan and try to contain him and keep him from, from breaking loose out of the pocket? Hey, Savion, you're on mute again. I'm sorry, I can't hear you because the signals went in and out. But I heard, um, I heard the last part. Um, I feel like just keeping him in the pocket. I feel like he's uh, really good on his feet. Uh, he's a quick, quick runner. I feel like we keep him in the pocket and uh, rush him that way, then we would be more successful. He's a, he's a guy who's kind of elusive. I mean, elusive. He breaks loose. He's hard to kind of track down. How do you simulate that in, in practice? I guess I'm asking, like, who's, who's been playing – uh, De'Ari King in practice this week to kind of give you guys a good look? Um, of what well, in practice, we've been make sure we, make sure we run to the ball, uh, tackling all the way, uh, wrapping up so we can simulate that. So when we go to the game, it's uh, the same thing we did in practice. But um, yeah, honestly, just working our technique. So things we're doing the game, we make sure we're working in practice, keeping our, so me playing defensive end, uh, not not to rush past the uh, the ball, keep him in the pocket, all that. Uh, Todd Gibson, you want to go ahead, please? Yeah, hey, Savion, what do, you, what do you remember about playing on Friday night, uh, high school football on Friday nights? How important was that to you? What was that like? And, and will it feel kind of strange playing college football on a Friday night? Uh, it's a big difference. I mean, it's, I mean, I mean high school football is, is more just – not so many details and stuff like that, but I mean, I mean, obviously playing in, in college is way more details. What uh, smaller error to lose? So um, I mean, it's, it's still the same feeling though. Football is football. Yeah, how much did you enjoy playing on Friday nights when you're back in high school? And and, and what's it gonna be like to have the today and, tonight, and, and then tomorrow or on Friday nights you're gonna have the uh, uh, whole country to yourself. What, what was Friday night high school football like for you? It was gonna be great. Uh, I'm ready to play. Um, it's gonna be fun to play on Saturday. I mean, it's also gonna be fun to be the only game on, so all eyes on us. Uh, David Thompson, you want to go ahead, please? Sure. Hey, Savion, how you doing, man? Um, you know, I, I know the the defense, uh, particularly against the UNC's run game, really struggled. You know, but how personal did you guys take that, and how much you kind of, you know, you've got to sit on that the last couple of weeks? How how personal did you take that, and how much of a fire is that kind of? Lit on for the defense. Yeah, we took it really personal. Um, we came back from that from that lose, and we had a meeting with our defense, and just talked about like the defense that we are. Like we we're we're a great def good defense when we want to be, and just a little things from the uh, from the UNC game. We took it to practice, and we worked on every phase of the things that we didn't do right. So I feel like we definitely fixed everything that we didn't do our in the UNC game. Alex Sawyer. Hey, Savion. I wanted to ask you about one of your teammates in that front six in Levi Jones. I know he's a linebacker, but he's a guy that, you know, sat out last year with the transfer rule, and he's having yeah. an impact in the pass rush game and the pump block, stuff like that. What have you seen from him this year and the way he's been able to kind of get himself into that defense and have an impact? Can you say that last part of the question again to hear you kind of went out? Yeah, no, I was just asking about Levi Jones and what you've seen from him this year as he's been able to kind of get into the defense and make an impact. Oh, yeah, he's uh, he's been great. He's a very, very – I feel like his biggest uh, strength in how, is how uh, versatile he is. He can play almost any position on the defense. He can rush the passer. He can jump in the coverage. And he also has a motor, so he can he – can, he can chase the ball for days. Anybody else have a – oh, there we go. Uh, Jonas, go ahead. Yeah, I want to ask uh, one more follow-up question about playing against uh, De'Ari King. Uh, what do you guys have to do to try to make him comfortable? I think in most, a lot of games he has a lot of time and he can kind of pick his spots. Like, what's the key 
to kind of making him uncomfortable back there in the pocket. I'm sorry, he's just warming time. The signal is going in and out. Yeah, I was, I was saying for De'Ara King, what's the key to kind of making him uncomfortable back there in the pocket when you guys play them on Friday? Flay is not as accurate as he is when he's out and running and stuff like that. I feel like we keep him in the pocket and uh, rush him that way and not let him get loose so he, that he can use his feet. That would be the best way to go. Uh, David, go ahead. Hey, Savion, kind of a weird question, but I know I guess a couple of weeks ago, Tuffy too died and and I yeah. know it was really sad for the community. I'm not sure if it affects you football players, you know, a whole lot, but, you know, I, I guess, does it affect you guys? And what is the importance of just having, you know, a live mascot and, and what does that mean to, to you guys to have that and, and to hope to get a replacement soon? I mean, it, yeah, it was sad to, uh, to lose, to lose him. Um, I feel like it's, it's, uh, it's big for the, um, our fan base and just NC State as a whole. But yeah, I, I hope that we get them back, get someone back, uh, get another uh, mascot back in there soon. And yeah, but I feel like it, very, it, it affects our fan base and uh, just little kids and stuff that sees that. Mark Armstrong. Uh, Say beyond night games at NC State are traditionally big time uh, yeah. affairs, the atmosphere off the chain, all that kind of thing. Does it feel any way like that absent, you know, a full house? Does it, do you still have the same level of excitement? Yeah. I mean, obviously there's nothing like a, um, a full stadium at nighttime as the Carter family, Carter family. But uh, I mean, you still have that, that same feeling just playing in the nighttime under the lights, but nothing beats the full stadium. But we, it doesn't matter if we have fans or not, we're still going to play the same way. Anybody else have anything for Savion here? All right, Savion, I think we're good. Appreciate you calling in.